last episode, Fillmore accidentally stumbled into the traffic zone and was turned into a turnip. The townspeople, having never seen a six-foot turnip before, decided to plant Fillmore. Hey, come on, Waldo. You got to get me back to the traffic zone. Open up, traffic zone. There he is, man. Come on, open up. Realizing that it was hopeless, Waldo, Hoppity, and Fillmore looked for another means of escape. That was a close one, but I think we've given them the slip. All right, turn him over. Cease! Who touches a head on yon gray turnip dies like a dog. March on! What turnip? Well, just remember that. Come on, man. He must have slipped out in the back door. What in the world happened to him, Hoppity? Yeah, I mean here. Did you say something, Hoppity? No, I think it came from inside the vegetable bin. Well, that was quick thinking, Fillmore. Oh, oh it wasn't my idea, Waldo. Well, whose idea was it? Uh, my friend, the asparagus in here. Uh, he said, quick, turnip, jump in the vegetable bin. Uh, so I jumped in there. Uh, would you like to meet some of my other friends? Uh, there's Charlie P and uh, Chucky Cucumber. We haven't got time right now to meet all your little buddies, Fillmore. We've got to find out some way to get you back into the traffic zone so that you can become a bear again. Uh, then this here's a stubby squash and uh, Ralph Rudabaker. You haven't found it, Fillmore. We haven't got time. Uh, you don't like my friends, huh? No, Fillmore, of course I like your friends, but I've met them all before on the Blue Plate Special. <laughs> you don't think that's very funny? Well, I guess if I was in your place, I wouldn't think it was very funny myself. Well, how are we going to get Fillmore back into the traffic zone, Uncle Waldo? Property, a problem of this magnitude calls for Waldo Wigglesworth to transcend himself into another dimension of thought. Oh. Oh boy, Uncle Waldo's going to think so more. I've got it! To get back into the traffic zone, we must find the pedestrian crossing. Hey, that's brilliant, Uncle Waldo, but what about all the townspeople? They won't let us look for it. Ah, uh, so you're right, Hoppity. I've got it. Fillmore, do you think your little friends would do something for you? Uh, I think so, Waldo. Well, we'll have all the vegetables go on strike until the townspeople let us get back to the traffic zone. So all the vegetables in Foggy Bog went on strike. Here's your succotash, dear. What did you put in this succotash? Mexican jumping beans? The bean pickers of Foggy Bog had a particularly exasperating time. And did you ever try to slice an animated cucumber? Well, the people in Foggy Bog started to look very peaked, and the mayor knew something had to be done. So he invited Waldo Wigglesworth to the town meeting. And so, if you let us proceed safely to the traffic zone, we will call off the vegetable strike. Uh, all in favor? Aye! All right, Fillmore! Oh, boy. Now for a big dish of black-eyed peas. There. Did you hear that? We found the pedestrian crossing. How do you know, Uncle Waldo? I heard the traffic signal. Well, come on. We can't have any. We'll have to wait for the signal to turn green. It has walk now. Let's go. Gee, so this is the traffic zone. Uh, it's kind of eerie, is it? Say, Hoppity, you're starting to look a little funny. Well, gee, you're starting to look a little funny yourself, Uncle Waldo. Funny? Funny? What's so funny about a mushroom? Boy, we really are in a stew. Don't say that, Hoppity. Well... Let's hope Waldo, Hoppity, and Fillmore aren't in the stew. Be sure to tune in to our next episode of Fine Kettle of Succotash or Who Put the Wigglesworth in Mrs. Murphy's Chowder? <laughs>